Songwriter playing piano on stage, or whatever. It's more indie, indie stuff. And in May is coming out um, Douglas Greed. He's from Germany. It's electronic dance. Yeah, and just just today or yesterday, we wrote out one single from Gary Todd. Actually, I really love it. He's from Australia, from Sydney. He's doing also a fashion label like LSD Clothes. It's really funny. And this is a very good release. I really love it. It's a really, really good release. Music is the answer. No, no, music, it's, it's um, my passion, my addiction since years. And um, the t shirts are just like um, fun to do. I would say I'm, I'm, I have always t-shirts on and when I travel, okay. sometimes naked. <laughs> sure no one's arguing. So but you, you talk about the music, you, you produce, you DJ, uh, is anyone more important? Do you find them very different? It's completely different. DJing I always say is rock and roll, like moving the crowd. Um, because I'm anyway moving. <laughs> so I know. Um, it's like a um, ping pong thing for me, DJing and um, making music is more like a reflection of um, the input of my DJing and my visions for myself and trying to organize the gears and trying to understand the synthesizer, trying to understand how I arrange everything. It's, um, it's a mirror. I would say, of what I feel. So you say you're going to be in Ibiza for six months again. Are you going to be at Circo Loco this year? Yes, I play Circo Loco and once at Amesia, but mostly Circo Loco. And I really love the club because it's 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 the only club I would say there. Maybe underground and Circo Loco, like a real club. Uh, DC10, what I like about it, it's like, it's like a wall of music. It's such a loud sound system. And the people, if they arrive, they are so happy and interesting because they're, it's the holiday time, you know. In the holidays, you are feeling free and you feel happy. And they arrive and they expect an amazing party. And they, they bring you also, um, they bring a lot of energy into the club. And I think the island gives you a lot of energy. And then it goes like, <laughs> sometimes I play and I like, I had so much energy from the people. They give me so much energy. They're nearly like, Wall, you know, on the wall, like, poof, like that powerful. But so it was so powerful, and um, it's magic. It's really Ibiza. It's the magic, and of course, it's, there's a big commercial side, of course. But there's something going on. I can't tell you what it is. It's like maybe positivity. I don't know. Strong energy. There's a strong island energy. It's great in London because there's. I arrived yesterday and we read to Tate. Tate, it's great and it's, it's, it's very powerful because the people start drinking early. They arrive, I think, drunk, so it's like in four hours, five hours, finish. <laughs> but music-wise, it's amazing, England. There's so good electronic music, no? I mean, okay, so this is a question. That scene is a bit different than in, in, in Berlin. Everything takes long. A long time. Long time, intense, yeah. long. I'm influenced, of course, a lot um, from England, Warp and um, US sound, Detroit sound, Chicago, and Neudeutsche Welle. 100%. You can hear that. And the locations of Berlin influence me a lot to play maybe not so flat or not so clean sound, more dirty because I played in cellars and big industrial places like huge rooms like back in the past but the planet and e-work was a hall actually with a lot of feedback 
and um, also it was a, in the back in the days a bit radical feeling to be a DJ. It's not like now that like you can get famous fast and that people talk about you in magazines. It wasn't like this back in the days. It's like if you're a DJ, loser, something like this. But I had to do it because it was just so much fun. And um, for the right reasons. For the right reasons. And back in the day, it was more a radical thing. And the wall came down, East and West came together. So also social wise, um, a big, big movement. And that's why it's still so huge in Berlin, I think, because it, it was a very important time when it became big. Yeah. And it's our music, I would say, and it will be for the next years, next 20 years, maybe, or 30. Oh, next, I take a bath. And then I take a shower. And then I take my hair dryer, drying my hair here and there. It's not lasered. You ready? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, you have to put that. Uh, okay. Hello, here's Alan Allen. Hello, here's Alan Allen. You're watching DMO. Don't miss out! Don't miss out! <laughs> no, this is fun. <laughs> I don't think we could even, if we try to do that again. Please, please. Oh, sorry guys, you're not from English, uh, England. 